start live at five with new information on two overnight wrecks that killed two people. Police got the first call at 1115 last night for a crash on Rockville Road. Then less than 30 minutes later, another deadly wreck on Pleasant Run Parkway. That second crash was a hit and run. Thanks so much for joining us tonight live at 5. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Beershell Edme. Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hara begins our coverage focusing on that second crash. This intersection was the site of one out of two fatal crashes involving a pedestrian last night. But here on Pleasant Run Parkway South Drive, IMPD says the driver fled before officers could arrive. Around 11.45 p.m., IMPD says 32-year-old Tommy Brock Jr. was hit and died at the scene. Homicide and certified accident detectives began investigating, and less than 12 hours later, a woman named Deborah Hines says she was alarmed to learn the vehicle involved once belonged to her. It just breaks my heart. I mean, I... Hard breaker for the guy's family. She sold her 2005 Chevy SUV last month, but says it's still registered in her name. She was supposed to have brought me the plates back the next day, and she never did. She says she wants to clear her name and send a message to the person responsible. You left that guy laying under your car dying, and you took off and left him there? You're a murderer. We also spoke with a man who lives on the street where it happened, one with a lot of pedestrians and a lot of fast cars. Especially with some of these turns right here around those bridges and all the foliage, it's hard to see when someone's coming. So it and people go quite quickly through these larger, wider streets. So it didn't really surprise me. Eric Holt founded Indie Pedestrian Safety Crisis to document incident trends. I thought I knew how bad the it was out on the roads. It's actually a lot worse. He says a short term solution would be increasing strict enforcement of traffic laws, but to prevent more tragedy long term, the city needs safer infrastructure. We have uh, way too many roads that are way too built up and built for speed and traffic volume and not built for people. About half an hour before the hit and run, IMPD says a pedestrian was hit and killed on the west side. That driver stayed on scene with first responders. The issue is not getting any better. Um, and we need to make sure that our focus as a city is uh, protecting these people's lives. IMPD says detectives aren't sharing any more details at this time. On the near southeast side, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.